Right, this time I will show you some of the past experiments that I've done. So if I press number, if I press 4, the SWR, then press number 9, which is load, I can go up now and uh, go, so that was a uh, that was an 80 meter dipole, if I press go there, it will load the curve. I'm not too sure which dipole that was, I've got notes to show me which one it was. Um, there's a slim gym there for two meters that I made. So if it's OK, it will show me the curve. So it covered all of all of two meters below 1.5. And what else did I do? Oh, there's an N fed half wave vertical 15 meters that I made. See, it came down to just below 1. Point, uh, I'd say it's probably at 1.35, something like that. It was tunable anyway, and it was it was efficient. I had a few. Uh, QSOs on that frequency. What else have I saved? I'm not too sure which 4 to 1 balance that is. Let's have a look. It's probably it's not the one that I just did, it's another one that I've made before, I think. Tan, this is another Slim Jim. I made for someone else. They wanted it on the calling frequency and 145475, so I made it so it was uh, as good as you're going to get it there. Awesome. Ah, Tracy's off center to fed dipole. Let's have a look. I think that was a bit all over the place, I'm not sure. Yeah, so it had a I don't think I can move it. Oh, I can. So it had a dip on uh, it had a dip on fifteen meters. And it had a little little dip on just, just below ten meters there. Where else? Let's have a look. I'm not too sure what that is. Oh, I imagine that is Tracy's uh, 20 COY's Wyndham, but I can't remember what I've written down. Right, onwards. I'll show you next. Uh, the next episode will be my most my favourite function of this whole analyzer. Right, guys, time Stand for by. my favourite uh, function of the Rig Expert AA230 Pro. I think this function only comes with the Pro, so uh, don't quote me, but I think it does. Um, you know when you're outside and say you've got a long line of coax and there's a distance between your antennas and your shack and you're adjusting something, you've just, you've just made something like a, maybe a cobweb or a dipole or a vertical or something like that and you're just doing the fine tweaking and you're having to go inside the shack to have a look and come out because you, can't, uh, you haven't got an analyzer and the only way you can see it is in the shack, yeah? Or you might have someone in the shack shouting out the window to you saying, yeah, shorter. Uh, that's it, stop, sort of thing. Well, I'm going to demonstrate the SWR to air function. We'll use the body pole for this because it's just it's easy with the whips to adjust. And I'll be using a VX7R for the receiver. So you'll see this why this is just this is worth the money just for the thing on its own. I think for me, just because the uh, amount of times of adjusting, adjusting, it's just so much easier. So for this, we'll pretend that the uh, that the rig expert is in the uh, in the shack say you've got um, 100 meters of hard line going to your to your um, to your tower and you don't want to keep backs and forwards right so the body poles out there at the moment it's out on 17 meters so we'll just quickly bung this on 17 meters focus number six press OK Oh, yeah, that is on, definitely on. Let me turn this up so we've got more than 50 kilohertz. There you go, there's the whole of uh, Struth. That was a good fluke. Let me turn it up a bit so you can get more of a uh, picture. So there's the SWR basically on, um, on 17 meters on the buddy pole. I'll demonstrate now. Right? We'll turn on the SWR, SWR to air function. We'll go to... Um, uh, show SWR it's 1.07 at the moment on that frequency what we'll try and do is we'll try and well uh, we'll try and make it go up to say something like I don't think it's going to make much difference to be honest the body pole was so wide banded on this frequency right well I'll start the SWR to air function off in here and uh, you'll see what happens on my receiver so we're listening for the fast beeps. 
to initiate it, you have to hold down F and press OK. And as you push it, the little tiny um, thing starts flashing up there. Right, let's go and have a look.